Hello YouTube and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we've got a 2017 Ford Transit Custom uh, it's completely dead, non-start, no dash lights, nothing, no communication at all with any diagnostic machine. So let's roll the titles and let's get diagnosing it. So as always, let's confirm the fault. I'll pop the ignition on. As you can see, no dash lights, no gauges, nothing. Make sure everything else is working or what isn't working. We've got a horn. We have headlights, but we have no main beam and no courtesy lights. No indicators. We have a radio that functions and is backlit. However, rest of the dashboard isn't backlit either. The interior light does work off the door. Wipers, speed one, speed two, nothing. Fast speed is the only one that works and no washers. No reverse sensors. So, I think we've got a bit of a job on our hands here. Let's... Just before we go deeper, I forgot to show as well. Put my foot on the clutch. Let's turn the steering wheel to show you. <clears throat> if I go to crank it, there's nothing. If I put the ignition on, I can hear relays clicking, so we do have some life. Battery is in good condition, by the way. So, let's sit and work out some sort of plan. Well, I'm thinking the best way to go to start with is to check all the CAN networks. Uh, unlike earlier Fords, you can't now go into the DLC plug because it does have a gateway module, so I have to go into the back of it. This has got three high-speed CANs and a medium-speed CAN. I uh, haven't looked at the wiring diagram yet as to uh, which is on what network. All I've looked at is what plugs, sorry, what wires are on the plug for each individual CAN network. So let's get the, the um, Pico scope out, excuse the gas blowers going off there, do need heat, it's getting a little bit cold now, and let's go scope some can, let's see if we can find any anomalies.
Okay guys, moving on from the initial diagnosis on Saturday where I checked the CAN networks and high speed CAN 1 was uh, pretty poor looking. Looked on the wiring diagram and found there's a multi-plug here which is on the driver's side on the right hand side just down the A post. I disconnected that and still plugged into the back of the gateway module my high speed CAN was uh, restored. Um, so what's ahead of this multi-plug is the BCM, body control module, powertrain control module and the park assist module. Um, so basically that's where I was on Saturday, plugged it back in and left it. It's now Tuesday, uh, the vehicle's not been touched since. I've just got back to it and when I opened the door, the dashboard sprung into life and now we have a fully operational dashboard. As you can hear as well, excuse the shaking there, the uh, heater motor is working, wipers are working indicators are working so and it now starts up however if you can notice got a couple of flashing lights let me just turn the heater off that's annoying me you see I'm revving it but the rev counter is not moving delayed got some flashing lights also there and as you can see it's just gone out park assist isn't working park assist light itself there is showing off the radio is going a little bit crazy at the moment but as you can see there park assist issues and we've got every warning light on the dashboard there is possible so hopefully now I'll be able to get some diagnostic um, values by plugging in the machine and let's take this a little bit further and see what we can find. Right, so we've managed to get into it with the uh, diagnostic machine for scan and as you can see we're pretty much riddled with fault codes all the way down. We've got powertrain control module, uh, APIM which is a sync module, park assist module body control module, front control interface, ABS, um, restraints control module, aircon, steering column module, dashboard, pretty much every control module is reporting communication errors, vehicle speed signal, network issues, um, so yeah plenty to work off here now so let's go a little bit further. So going back to this multi-plug here, I have noticed because basically what's happened is I've been presented the vehicle in this condition of strip down with a light switch out. Um, I've noticed as well, there's a lot of residue, sticky residue, probably fizzy drink, could be coffee. It's all down here, all down on the dark door card itself, all the way down here. This, when I strip it down, is all nice and clean no issues at all but it's just quite ironical that I've had this disconnected 
I mean, moving around with the harness as well. Um, left it a few days, starts up absolutely fine now. Just had it running with no issues whatsoever. The engine is currently running. If I was to rev it, as you can see, we've still got dashboard issues. So I think we still need to keep on going. I'm gonna crack the scope out again and see what can traces we've got. So here we are now guys, uh, a few days later, uh, I've managed to get it running, personally I'm still not convinced it was the dashboard, I've looked a little bit further into things and on this particular age vehicle you can have the dashboard disconnected and uh, the, the vehicle will still start, this is a, a known good vehicle. So I think the coffee spillage is a bit of a red herring based on the fact that we've taken the vehicle for a 25 mile road test and during the road test the dashboard failed once more vehicle kept on running um, however when we came back and turned it off it was completely dead again so what I've done I've come in on a Sunday in my own time obviously I'm going to get paid for it with a bit of luck and um, basically been looking at this in my own time without any interruptions so what I managed to find, I uh, looked a little bit further on the wiring diagram and obviously we've got no communication with the PCM at all. Once it fails, high speed CAN 1, obviously sending information to the dashboard and other items as well, which are obviously not working. And so I looked a little bit further and I found a multi-plug tucked away, I thought initially down the A post, but it's actually under the dashboard there. I'll just pop a picture up of it now for you and basically I disconnected that multi-plug and obviously it's, there's uh, no coffee or ingress in there of any water or whatsoever um, looking at the multi-plug can high speed can high and low go into the plug go up 
towards the park assist module at the rear also go out of the um, multi-plug and head towards the front at the PCM. So what I did, I took the headlight out and uh, accessed the multi-plug. I'll put a, connect, uh, a picture up there for you. There was a CAN signal at that multi-plug, both sides of it, so that wasn't my issue. Um, we shut the vehicle down and we had a short to ground on the uh, CAN high and CAN low. So um, uh, basically went a little bit further. Now what I did, which led me in a general direction, was I put the A-post trim back on. As I put it on, I gave it a bang. And all of a sudden, my CAN communication on pin 6 and 14 was established. So I jiggled around with a wire up here to no avail. Um, but every time I banged here, I could create communication, bang it once more, I would lose communication. So I followed the harness, which goes up along here underneath the headlining, no issues whatsoever. We go to the back of the vehicle, where the park assist module is, and it was, um, it's got panels in there, which I'll show you the pictures of. I've taken the panels out, and the park assist module, which is currently disconnected, is here, and it basically lives around about here, just there. On one of the panels, there was a screw just here, but when I've peeled the harness back, it doesn't um, go through the can high and can low, which is these wires here. But looking further back, this harness here runs through a strut here with a hole, a little bit, a little bit like one of these. And no way am I gonna be able to show you on this little video, but I've taken a photo of it, and I've found that the can wire is actually rubbing on the strut brace of this side panel, and it's shorting to ground. ground and that my friends is enough to have killed the vehicle stone dead and so this is beyond the needle in a haystack this is the pin prick in a wiring harness so I'm now going to repair the wire insulate it from further um, contact and I'll call that a fix and just to prove it guys pop the ignition on foot on the clutch start her up Revving up nicely, dashboard now isn't delayed, no warning lights on, everything's working. So thanks for watching, consider giving me a thumbs up or consider giving me a thumbs down. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell and await my next videos. So until next time, cheers guys. Just another quick one for you guys as well. It was, I was only going by information that I was told that if you go into the front of the gateway unit using a breakout box like this, uh, I was told you get no CAN communication. As you can see here, we do have communication on 6 and 14, 3 and 11, um, we've got five, 4 and 5 which is the ground and 16 which is your permanent live. However, as I've mentioned previously, there are still two other CAN networks potentially not shown on here. So I still advocate going into the back of the gateway unit for a proper diagnosis if you're going to go into the CAN networks. So as you can see now, I've connected up the homemade connector, uh, the patch lead. And you can see now we've got a lot more dancing lights and we've got all four CAN networks represented now on the breakout box.